Welcome back, folks. Today it's about this plugin here. It's called Pitch Map by Synaptic, and it's on the market for a long, long time now. And it was available on sale, uh, I think, uh, some weeks ago. And I bought it and I tried to use it, and then I came up with some un unusual workflows. Maybe, maybe it's not so unusual, but I want to show you how I use it. So uh, first up, it's just pretty simple laid out here. Um, you have input notes here. That's your pitches basically going in audio wise. And then you can move these um, dots here around and correct it basically to a different note. As you can see here, this one is, um, is a B and it's corrected to a C sharp. If I'm not wrong, yeah, C sharp. So this is basically here the scale of E B minor, which is D sharp minor. So everything audio wise going into that, it's pitch corrected to um, the D sharp minor scale. And then you have here some controls where you can um, yeah, tweak the algorithm, basically how it sounds. And there you have a lot of possibilities. For instance, you purify uh, simplifies the output signal, which removes all the transients. And it's almost like, um, yeah, a synthesis method, or it sounds like a synth. So you put in some uh, noisy stuff and you get out here a synth sound. And I can show you this here in a minute. Um, for instance, let's go for um, um, some percussion sounds here in, in Bitwig. Um, maybe use here an E snare or something like this. Um, so let's lay down, a, lay down a clip here. Put some some snare sounds on it, and then you can use your pitch map, and then use my D sharp minor scale. Mute everything, and. And you can do basically, um, yeah, a synth sound with these um, snare sounds, just only with pitch map. And you can see uh, I turned up Purify pretty high, and I get the or got the tip from the developer uh, on Twitter that when you activate strict mode, you also get more like synth sounds out of this, which is nice. And you can turn basically percussion sounds into um, tonal material, which is pretty nice. Okay. Something uh, you have to be aware of is the MIDI input of this plugin. You can't disable MIDI input with the pitch map. You always get MIDI information in when you have your keyboard active on the track. So for instance, here this track is an instrument track. And when I play here my keys on the keyboard, you can see certain case keys become red, which means you exclude these keys from pitch shifting which is sometimes not what you want. But you can switch this here to live MIDI, MIDI map, which means you can play this um, plug in like an instrument. I have here strict mode active, maybe you can um, dial down your purify a bit. And you can play it like a synthesizer. Um, turn this up. But sometimes you don't want to have MIDI input at all in this uh, situation where you have to exclude active. Like you don't want to exclude you every time you play some notes. So what you can do is inside Bitwig you can use just a channel filter um, like this here and just disable all the channels. So you strip basically the MIDI information or the note information away from the pitch map. And now you can play it on the keyboard. And you can see no keys are here disabled or turned into red, excluding keys.
You can also use pitch map for um, preparing samples uh, for the sampler inside Bitbig, for instance. Um, so I have here this um, jazz guitar loop. So um, it's playing different notes, right? And when you want to use this in the sampler, you can do this, of course, in this uh, form also. But when you put your pitch map on it, you can say, just give me here only C back or pitch every single note of this key to the C note here. Maybe put a small reverb on it. Something like this. And then you bounce it maybe or put it into the sampler. Um, yeah, let's just bounce this here. Then you use a sampler and put this in here. And then yeah, you basically have a nice new sample you can use. Let's turn this up. Root should be C3, probably. Um, let's do this a bit longer here. Let's try it out. Or maybe go to textures mode. Grain up, this one up. So it's nicely pitched uh, or crunched down to one note, which is easy then to play uh, in multiple notes. Hey, get nice sounds out of it. You have to play around with this, but you can easily just take any sample from your hard drive that has multiple notes in it and turn it just in a flat one single note uh, sample and then use it in the sampler. At least that's what I'm using it for. Also try to use this on my Eurorack because it probably produces a lot of inharmonic content sometimes and also you need to tune a lot of these devices uh, manually and just put it through pitch map and you get also some nice results out of it. This is a session I recorded recently. And just by letting the Eurorack run through the pitch map and playing around with the, with the um, parameters of pitch map, you get nice results. Also interesting using pitch map on your hardware on your analog synths um, because pitch map takes care of all the right tunings and you can't do really wrong you can even just detune all the oscillators get some nice diatonic chords out of uh, 
out of the synth just by using pitch map. I'm dialing in here a lot of uh, distortion and you can see just also distortion can produce a lot of nice harmonic content just by driving it through pitch map. So that's it for this video, folks. Um, there are some topics I haven't touched yet. For instance, I'm using uh, pitch map also with my voice, um, but that's not so different from my video I made about uh, Melda M Auto Pitch, um, where I just sing in some random notes into the mic and then use the pitch shifting algorithm to correct everything and yeah, produce some um, chords or some um, yeah, some nice vocal lines with it. So that's not so different, but also with the, the pitch map, because it's polyphonic, you can um, pitch your voice in front of the pitch map to certain octaves and then you get a nice uh, chord at the end out of it. Um, yeah, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. I hope it was some kind of helpful. Uh, maybe you try out pitch map and uh, maybe you give it a go. It's an interesting plugin and it's really, really useful with Eurorack, with hardware and with percussive content, with vocals um, and um, also with some musical content where you want to crunch down the notes to just one, you know, one, uh, one note and use it in the sampler. Pretty useful actually for me. So thanks for watching. Please leave a thumbs up if you find this video helpful. Um, subscribe to the channel and I see you in the next one. See you and bye.